attention spans have very short attention spans and often complex issues can't be delivered to people in these short attention spans so that's what we're going to talk about today how do you talk about when when I was living in in Israel this past year think of how complicated it is to talk about the Israeli Palestinian conflict and issues in a snap in a 10 second snap Think about how complicated it is in a 140-character tweet. Think about how complicated it is to put it into an Instagram image. It's crazy, and, all, and, and almost it can't be done. Katie Harbath was here earlier today. Um, she's wonderful. And uh, she was talking about Facebook, which is obviously incredibly powerful. But what we need to understand about this, whether your video is silent or whether your video is not silent, whether whatever it is, okay, people are very, very short with their attention spans. The average video watched to completion on Facebook, 22 seconds. I want you to think about that, 22 seconds. You can sit up and you can produce the prettiest graphics and you can be talking and schmoozing and doing whatever you want, but 22 seconds is the average time people are going to spend watching a video on Facebook before they're distracted by a picture of a cat. 
We live in a mobile world. In Europe now, over half of all video content consumed is on a mobile device. And that's going to go up and up and up. So all of the content, everything you've learned, everything we're talking about today at this wonderful conference, and thank you, Philip, and thank you, everyone, for inviting me. By the way, it's, it's, I have never spoken in such a beautiful room. You'll have beautiful, beautiful things here. So is mobile. This is something that's taken, I, I ran digital proudly for Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky, who sadly dropped out of the, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I wish we had gotten more screams, because then they would have turned into uh, votes. Thank you, double the scream. Uh, so uh, this, this was taken from our website. You can see that people on a mobile device were spending less than half of the time on a desktop. Now, I just want us to think about that. This isn't always the case, but it's definitely the majority of the cases. Where people on a mobile device, I call them, uh, you know, folks stop at, at red light cameras, because I see them, because people are, go up to the, to the traffic light, and they stop, and they get out their phone, right? And it's scary for us all. Like the man, I was in a presentation earlier, the man was stopped at a light, somebody showed this live streaming video. I was like, oh, God, I hope he doesn't hit someone in this video at, at one of the presentations, right? But that's exactly what we do, is we get out our phones and we're online consuming content while we're stopped at a traffic light. So what can we do? I'm about to show you some examples and I already know we're going to have skeptics. Someone's going to ask me, so let me just get this out front. Vincent, how do we take these complex questions and policy and how do we put them into short things, we're dumbing down policy. Aren't we dumbing down what we need to be communicating to voters? This is serious. This is serious. The migrant crisis is serious. Our taxes are serious. All of this is serious. I'm trying to sell serious things. Well, yes, we are. We are trying to sell serious things. But you can actually prime voters. This is an academic study. It's a wonderful study by two political scientists, Zenos and Becker, that talks about how entertainment media actually has a priming effect. So when people watched in their study the Jon Stewart show, after they watched a certain topic on the Jon Stewart show, they were more likely to want to consume the, the, the harder news and information about that topic. So let's prime people with the things and the content that they want to see and want to consume that they're naturally consuming that's naturally entertaining to them. And then they'll want to know more. Okay? If you are not interesting and entertaining, does anyone like Gladiator? I love this quote from Gladiator. <laughs> are you not entertained? Right? If you are not interesting, entertaining, and engaging, people are not being reached by your content. And you have to understand that. And I'm going to show you some examples now. I'm going to go past this. I want to start first by talking about a client of mine that's the oil and gas industry. The oil and gas industry in America just gets attacked everywhere. Okay, I'm sure it gets attacked here, it gets attacked in Israel, it gets attacked everywhere for specifically the process of fracking. We have these people, they're called fractivists, and they run around and they tie themselves to trees and all these other things, okay? So it was our job with our clients to try, and it's been very successful, to take the issue of fracking and natural gas production and actually put that issue in an entertaining way. Previous to doing what we've done here, everybody had just shoved the same things. Here's a study from this person. Fracking doesn't contaminate water. Here's a study. Here's this really smart scientist, and they're telling you these questions. People weren't watching that. They were watching cats. So what we did was we took, and these are some examples that, that did run online about, these are some examples <laughs> that, that, that we did run online that have been very, very successful. So there's a Facebook page that's run, it's called Frack Feed. I recommend you all check it out and like that page and follow this campaign because it's been very, very successful. Our engagement when, when we started this Frack Feed campaign online versus the other more traditional 
effort. This has eight times the engagement. Eight times. In every single presentation that we do for the client, comparing this. And by the way, you know what's most fascinating to me is when we were running ads, we never bracketed any of the ads by age. Okay, so the traditional campaign we were running to all people trying to get them onto our page. For this campaign we were running to all people. This page, the people who are engaging on Facebook are, and I mean you might guess this, but 18 to 45. 18 to 45. And this is great for us as advertisers, as people trying to get other folks to consume information, that people 18 to 45 are caring about fracking and oil and gas and the natural gas industry because we're producing content like this, okay? So definitely check out this website and check out the, the stuff that we're doing because even corporate issues can be fun too. And I did wanna show you something else. Now, I can show it to you now if it, if it works. Are we gonna move to the thing? Are we good? Oh, oh, I clicked. Oh, perfect. Okay, so this is what we call a listicle, right? You all know the term listicle. I know it sounds like it couldn't be a good term or something, but this is what it is, a listicle. So what this is, we did this thing, six alternative fracking storylines to the Oscar-nominated movies. So we went down and we took each of the movies that were nominated. I don't think it, maybe it didn't load fully, but um, it didn't load fully, I guess. But each of these movies, we, we, we went and we told for, for Mad Max, for example, we said, this is the world without fracking. That's what this world would look like, right? <laughs> so underneath all of these, we created an alternative storyline. This was very, very successful from a content consumption perspective. Something else, just like we all have different languages in here, and I've already gotten to brush up on my on my German being here and, and my you know French, different languages have different purposes and different people communicate in them. The same thing online. Don't communicate the same way on all these social media. I've seen all these wonderful pictures of social, all these different social media up here, Facebook and Twitter and everything today. They're all not the same. They're not the same. So if you say something on Facebook, I'm gonna show you an example in a, in a minute of a graphic that we made that wouldn't work on some other platforms. So spend the time on the platforms that you're on and create content unique to each platform. I love these examples. This is the second, if there are two uh, organizations that, that we work for that I'm very proud of the creativity. One is that Frack Feed, second is this group called Secure America Now that I would recommend that you check out too. They do some very creative things, our team, working with them. This is an example of something we did on Twitter. So these are three individual tweets. Three individual tweets that in someone's newsfeed look totally badass, right? I mean, these look really, really cool because it proves a point, okay? It's not just one graphic, it's using Twitter as Twitter could be used. This is another example of something where you retweet the first thing and then you retweet the second thing and it looks beautiful in Twitter timeline, okay? Let people entertain themselves. Let's talk about this. Let people entertain themselves. Give people your, there was a wonderful uh, uh, man earlier who, who spoke about story. I thought it was a really good presentation. And let people insert themselves into your own story. This is an example of for Senator Paul on his app, we let this picture of Senator Paul and we asked people, you said you could take a selfie with Rand, right? So if you open this app, his picture was right there and I bet you're asking, well, this could run amok. Are people gonna put their butt cheeks and whatever? Yes, people put their butt cheeks, some of them did, okay? But at the same time, a lot of people use this the right way and it gave our supporters the opportunity to actually engage with Senator Paul being right there with him and to push Senator Paul's message with, with us disseminating it. So we let people entertain themselves with our content. Not all of us in this room, y'all, know exactly what everybody needs. Not everyone in this room knows exactly what we need to deliver to our consumers. But if we can give them things to occupy their time and to push our message forward for us, that's a way to be very successful. 
This is what we did around the Super Bowl. We let people print out footballs. Paper footballs are a big game in the, in the uh, States. And we let people print out these paper footballs and take pictures with them. We had thousands and thousands of people do it. What do you think of that dog? That's, that's my dog. It's pretty ugly, right? It's a pretty ugly dog. It has cataracts now, I think, from the thing in its eyes. It has no teeth. Its tongue's falling out. I think he could be his own meme, you know? So this, again, let people create the content for you. Another example. I didn't think this would work. I was nervous doing this. Rand Paul got into an argument with Chris Christie, now a Donald Trump supporter, right, on the debate stage. And we asked people to draw pictures for us. I was really nervous about doing this. I didn't know if people would actually draw pictures. But guess what they did when you ask? You know, what, what does the Bible say? Ask and you shall receive. So that's what we did. We asked for these pictures and we got the pictures. Okay? It was really cool. And, and again, it was a great way to produce content not from us, but to actually let our supporters create that content. I'm obsessed with this app, and I want to talk to you about this. It's a tool online called Ziggio, Z-I-G-G-E-O. And Ziggio allows you to, to create something like we did here, which is built on a Facebook tab. By the way, I love Facebook tabs. I don't think Katie talked about it much, but we build a lot of things in Facebook tabs. You don't need to build entire websites. There's a wonderful tab generator called Heyo, H-E-Y-O. And you can go on and use Heyo to create these Facebook tabs. And you can create anything in these Facebook tabs. You can drop iframes. You can drop pictures. You can drop anything. OK? So we built this in a Facebook tab where people can record their own videos. And we told them what to do. I stand with RAM because of X. If you click that button, regardless of what device you will be on, it'll let you record. And the video saves on the back end. We then took those videos, and we then created different video pieces of all these supporters across the country and the world saying they supported RAND. Think of how you could do this of people saying why they like your brand. Think of how you could do this of people saying why they are, why, you know, are happy Mother's Day or thanking police officers or thanking whatever it is. Let people be a part of your advertising. This is a wonderful way to decentralize this. Is it going to work for everybody? Is it going to be harder for some of our brands? Yes, it is. That's why on North Texans for Natural Gas, which is the other entity of Frack Feed, we gave away these Donald Trump hats, Make America Frack Again hats, if you, if you submitted a video. Okay, you all can go on there right now and do it, if you want, from your phones. You can make your own video, and you could get a Donald Trump hat that you all want, I can tell from your faces. <laughs> Next, Snapchat, native advertising. Snapchat is just huge in the States. It's just huge. Even since I was over here, to, to quote Donald Trump, huge, huge. So even since I was over here last time in November, usage has gone up dramatically. There is now more video in a recent study a day on Snapchat than on Facebook. I want you to think about that. There's more video a day on Snapchat than on Facebook. That's powerful. And we need to figure out how our brands can actually use this platform. Hillary Clinton's Snapchat, I think, is the best single use of social media right now of any campaign anywhere. And you all should check it out. You should get on Snapchat, go find Hillary Clinton, because she uses Snapchat as a great model for all of your brands and all of your campaigns. So this is called native advertising. We put these filters on Snapchat for people to use, OK? so. You see this, how I feel about the bad Iran deal. Okay, I know this is the place the Iran deal was created, but for the sake of this, how we feel about the bad Iran deal. This was very successful in the state of Ohio. For one day, we had 178,000 uses of this filter. In one day, 178,000 uses of people putting all sorts of things in that circle. Okay? I'm not, that sounded a little bad, but. Mostly, mostly things that, that were like this, okay? Change content. This was the example I was talking to you about earlier. Facebook released emojis. Well, guess what all of us should have done? We should all be creating content like this. This content worked 
in terms of engagement. Look at this one page, Secure America Now. O almost half a million reach, and it got over 600,000 reach by the end of this. Most of their posts are like half or a third of that. But it was because we were using these emojis. And by the way, people are smart. People are smart. I was worried when we did this, because this audience is mostly older audience. We, we did this on the first day of emojis were released. And I was worried, are enough people going to have updated their phone to actually use these? And they did. The majority of people pressed that angry button. This is the type of content that we need to create. And this is the type of content that only works on Facebook, right? These are very, very successful doing stuff like this in terms of reach, in terms of, look guys, reach is half of this, right? All of us want more people to see our stuff. That, that is why we're here. So we can either write long policy papers, we can deliver very elaborate content of people sitting around and talking to each other that's 10 minutes long, or we can actually deliver stuff that people are going to want to forward on. And that's the truth of it all. Get other people involved. We did a t-shirt contest for Rand Paul. I was very excited about this. You can see our number one t-shirt pick was the NSA knows I bought this t-shirt, right? We also had the NSA knows that I bought this hat, the NSA knows that I bought this koozie, everything. It was a suite of products. And what we had people do is we asked people to create t-shirt designs for us. And guess what they did? That's not rhetorical. Guess what they did? They created them. People created the t-shirt designs. We had over 2,000 people submit t-shirt designs for us. Then guess what we did? We turned right around and we put them online and we let people vote on which design was best. That's engagement, not shoving content down people's throats. Social media, not TV, right? Social media, engage with people, okay? Marco Rubio, we should rest his campaign. <laughs> he did a wonderful job of answering Questions on Google for your brands, I promise you, if you type into Google or if you go on Google Trends and you look at questions people are asking, you're going to see people ask a bunch of questions like, you know, is Marco Rubio from Cuba? How tall is Marco Rubio? People ask all these things into Google. You would be shocked at the top 10 questions Google sends them around to us that, that people type into Google each time during debates. It's not what's Marco Rubio's plan to fix the Middle East? That's not what it is at all. None of the questions, okay? So what Marco Rubio did was he found those 10 questions and he answered them. This is not only smart for engagement because people are actually asking the questions, y'all, but it's smart because for search engine reasons, when people type them in again, they're gonna see his response. This is using digital well. This is using entertainment well. Okay, this is the kind of thing that we all need to be doing. I only have a couple more slides. Worth further reading, two wonderful books. The first is Marcus Pryor, Post-Broadcast Democracy. If you read one book about all the stuff we're talking about, I hope you read that book. He's a Princeton political scientist. In his book, he talks about how when voters, when consumers have a choice of news and nothing, they pick news, like my grandma did when she sat down to eat her TV dinner in the 1970s, right? But when people have a choice of news or entertainment and watching Kim Kardashian on TV, they don't pick the news, okay? So this is a big, long book that just came to that summary that I just said. So I hope you still read it, but that's the summary. The second book is about entertaining the citizen. And this woman talks in her book a lot about how all the stuff I'm saying and some of your eyes on I'm not going to put cat gifts on my brand, okay? She talks about how this is the future and it is the future whether we like it or not. It's here right now and if you want engagement and you want reach, we have to deliver our brands in this way. And the last thing that I want to go over, I want us all to create content right now and I want us, and I wanted to give some of my favorite apps for you to download that I use on the on the uh, run. So you don't need to have graphic designers, you don't need to have pay people a lot of money for everything. Yes, sometimes you should pay people, but you can create content yourself using these apps. You should all download them. The Over app is my favorite app. 
It's wonderful. And when it's a Saturday and I have a client want something and I don't want to you know, bother our graphic design team, I'll just go on the over app and I'll create something. Okay? So these are wonderful. The perfect video app, you can look like you're Steven Spielberg, okay, by the end. Not exactly quite, but you know, you can, you can make really nice videos. Okay? So that's, oh, sorry, I forgot about that one. VHS camcorder, that's a new addition. This one's pretty cool. You all remember the old VHS tapes and you put them in and they look kind of fuzzy and stuff? Well, this, you can create your own. You can create your own now, a digital, but it looks like a VHS, pretty retro, right? So check that out. Um, and I think that that was all. So, uh, danke und uh, thank you. That's all. Thank you. <laughs>